Welcome to Stoughton Media Access Cable's Community Forum Show. My name is Steve Kelly. I'll be your host as we get a sneak peek at a rehearsal for the upcoming show that South Shore Theatre Works is performing August 4th, August 5th, and August 6th. We hope that you'll be as excited as we are when you get to see the cast, some of the preparations they do for this wonderful musical that the children perform. We'll also get to see the musical numbers that they have, and I'm delighted to share this with you. So let's have a look right now as we move right into one of the scenes of the show. I'm here with Caroline Colucci, that's how we say it, right, yes. Caroline? And Caroline plays the mermaid, Ariel, who is a real troublemaker, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> yeah. So in our performance, so tell us a little bit about how you decided that that would be a good spot. Did you have to audition? What happened? Yes, um, well, a friend told me about this and I came in and I'd never done a production here before. Um, so I was really nervous and I came in, I auditioned and they asked me to come back for a callback, which by then I was freaking out. I went home, rehearsed more, yes. um, came back and a few days later they emailed me, offered me the role and it's a dream role of mine, so I'm and really excited. Because of your voice, do you think, because of your singing? Yeah, I guess because they didn't have me act in the audition, so a little bit. Um, but yeah, because of my singing, I guess. And you're going to have to be loud because I'm sure the audience can hear in the background yeah. the, the rehearsal that we're, we're also hearing, yes. right? Yeah. Right. So um, had you worked with another um, theater group other than South Shore? Um, I've worked at the company theater. I did Christmas Carol there. Uh -huh. I've worked, um, I did like a theater camp, Kids Spot. Yeah. Um, and I do a lot of shows through my high school. Yeah. So that's kind of my theater experience. But this is one of the more exciting ones that I've done. Yeah. So what's your favorite like line or favorite part of this play? It's super cliche, but I'm gonna have to say part of your world because it's such a, it was my go-to audition song as a little kid when I first kind of got into theater. Yes. And now being able to sing it as Ariel. She was my favorite Disney princess growing up. So like, it's a dream come true. It sounds cliche, but being able to sing that in front of an audience is just a dream come true. So can can you just give us a little bit of your song? Right a little now? bit? Yeah, okay. just a little. Whichever one you want, like kind of bump right, bump right. right into it. All right. Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want thingamabobs? I got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah, so that's going to be fun to hear you sing in the actual performance. Yeah, I'm really excited. Right. And when is the performance? You can let the audience know. I think it's it August. Is first weekend of August. First weekend of August. August 4th at 7.30. Yeah. August 5th, there are two shows, yeah. 2 o'clock and 7.30. And August 6th, 2 o'clock. Okay. Well, thank you very much for taking time thank out of the you, rehearsal of to spend some time with us. Of course. Thank All right. you. Good luck. Thank you. Break a leg. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right.
I'm here with Jen Sterling. And Jen, you have multiple roles for South Shore Theatre Works, all right? So from just what I know of, and I'm sure there are more things, so you're not only the music director for this uh, performance of The Little Mermaid Junior from Disney, right? Yes. So in addition to that, you're the website master. Yes, I am. <laughs> and then social media too, which is a huge job. Yes. And then probably a whole bunch of other things. So um, tell us like, what excites you so much that you're giving up all this time for this? Uh, I'm just really passionate about theater and um, sharing it with the children and um, instilling that passion in them as well. And um, a great way to reach out to them is through social media because they all have technology yes. right at their fingertips. So it's a great way to keep in touch with the kids and share it with them and get them interested in, in performing. And I, I like it. And by the way, the reason I'm here is that I see what you're doing as really um, proactive for the children, um, keeping them out of trouble too. Absolutely. I mean, not just, I mean, it isn't just about keeping someone out of trouble, but engaging them in something productive that mm -hmm. builds their character and stuff. Maybe that's sort of some of those reasons too that you're hoping that um, to put, steer the kids to the right track, if you would. Yeah, it absolutely is. Um, outside of this, I am a school teacher. I teach music in Brockton at one of the elementary schools. So, um, doing something like this really kind of just attaches to that and branches off from that. Um, and it's great. It's really great to have the kids involved. So um, let's use that as a stepping stone for the music. Tell us about the music for this performance. Who picked the music? Do you, um, do you personally say, I've got six songs that I can choose for this spot, and I pick this one? Or do you ask the other people in the group? What do you do? Uh, no, so the, when we chose the show, the production, it came with all of the music from the Disney film. Um, and it's just because it is the junior version, it is a little bit watered down from the Broadway version, so some of the songs are a little bit shorter than what we're used to hearing, but you will hear all the same familiar songs from the movie, like Under the Sea and Part of Your World and Kiss the Girl, so I think the audiences will be really excited to hear the kids singing and a, that. But a music director puts her own imprint on all the songs. I mean, they don't sound the same in a different setting, right? So you're, whether it's tempo or whether it's tone or whether it's pace, um, what, are, what are you doing, like how do you see it for how you're putting your imprint on the music? Um, I suppose I'm just really kind of getting the kids to sing um, excitedly but in a healthy way so that they're not hurting their voices because that's really important to me. That's one of the yeah. things that I like if to teach. If you push too much exactly. strength in the music then it can exactly. hurt the larynx, right? Yeah, still singing with a lot of energy but also in a healthy way so that they're not hurting their voices so that they can continue to do this as they grow. Mm. Um, yeah. Very so. nice. So this is an opportunity for you to sort of launch your social media campaign vis-a-vis yes. <laughs> -vis TV. So you're on Stoughton Media Access Cable's awesome. Community Forum awesome. Show, and we're highlighting the South Shore Theater, mm -hmm. right? So what do you want to tell the audience right now about your social media campaign, where they can find information, things like that? Um, you can follow us on Facebook. Um, you can find us at South Shore Theatre Works on Facebook, and theater is spelled the fancy way, uh, the proper way, <laughs> with an R-E at the end. Not an E-R. No, that's correct. Um, we're also on Twitter, at uh, SS Theatre Works. And then on Instagram, we have an Instagram that is full out, at South Shore Theatre Works. And we also now have a Snapchat as well, which is also at SS Theatre Works. So, How yeah. do you keep track of all of that? <laughs> and there's a lot of, you, you probably have a lot of photos that you're uploading. Yeah, yeah. Um, we actually just finished a production over the weekend with the adults, um, Songs for a New World. And so I was actually in that production. And while I was off stage, I had <laughs> the, the camera and snapping pictures and posting them all over the social media while uh, in between songs. So <laughs> I right. always find a little bit of time to get it done. All right, you have an upcoming production. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that as well? Yes, um, the the Little Mermaid, obviously. Okay, but the yeah. next one. So oh, the next one so is I've got the kids on. I've yes. got the kids on camera telling us about the Little Mermaid in August yes. 4th, 5th, and 6th. But how about the next one, the Cabaret? Uh, the next production that we're doing is Cabaret, and that's going to go up in September, um, the 15th, 16th, and 17th, and the 22nd and 23rd of September. And um, it's an adult production. Um, uh, it's a smaller cast. It's a really interesting show. 
the music is really challenging and the dancing is very stylistic, um, stylized as bossy dancing, so it's going to be really, really fun. I'm actually in that production as one of the um, ensemble members. So two things, you have only five weeks to get that done. Yes, from this. we do. <laughs> and then you, you used an expression, I didn't know what I'll be candid. Fosse dance? Uh, Bob Fosse um, okay. was a is a was a Broadway choreographer, and he has um, a certain style of dance that is very very typical of him. So, okay, so you could yes. learn that if you come to the show. Exactly. People like me could learn what is Fosse dancing. Exactly. You <laughs> see it mostly in uh, if you're familiar with the musical Chicago. It's a lot of that kind of dancing. So. Okay. So um, if if you would explain this to somebody that you have that they, they have a child that really would like to get started, what would you say to them out there? Um, just do it, <laughs> you know, just be brave and put your best foot forward and uh, it, you can come and join a group like us and we'll try to draw you out of your shell. <laughs> How easy is that to join your group? Like, what do they do? Do they call? Do they? Yep, what, they, what can, they can call us. Um, our number is on the website. Um, the best way to get information is to go to www.SouthShoreTheaterWorks.com. Our phone number is on there. And on the bottom of our web page, you can um, click on the link to join our email list. And um, we send out emails pretty frequently, at least once every couple of weeks, to update um, our membership and our fans on what's coming up. And so, now, how do you guys cover the cost of, of putting on a presentation? Because it's there's quite a few dollars that goes into mm -hmm. like the uh, costumes and renting the hall. And yeah. So tell us how how you cover those costs. Um, we do it a lot through sponsorships and and donations. Um, yeah. So if somebody wants to sponsor like part of the show, like mm -hmm. would they get like a a little um, like a interview or a um, what would you call it, a commercial theme from you guys if they could? I mean, how, I mean, how I would someone? I mean, I suppose so. Uh, there is information about how to do that on yep. the website. Um, it is, it's the sponsorship page. It is a tab on the website that you can click on um, that has all the information about how you can, uh, there's different levels of sponsorship. Um, and then we also have ads that can go into our programs for the different productions as well. So we and want those, you to sponsor Those there, forms right? are on the website as well. Okay. Yes. Good. So, uh, Tell the audience just when the show is. Again, it's August. August 4th, 5th, and 6th um, at Stetson Hall in Randolph. Um, Very important, yes. yeah, where it is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and on the 5th, we have two shows, um, one at 2 p.m. and one at 7.30 p.m. And then on Sunday, the 6th, is our final show at 2 p.m. And what do they cost? What does it cost to attend? It is $15 for general admission and $12 for senior citizens and students. Um, where can people get the tickets if they want them? Oh, if people want tickets, there is actually a link on our website. Um, there is a tickets page, and um, you'll be able to do that. That will go live on uh, Thursday night, I believe, is when that tick that link will be available this this Thursday. Um, the and who's 13th. arranging that link? Would it be the website master? Uh, yeah, yes, and the and the <laughs> ticket chair as well. She huh. sets up the ticket link and then sends it to me as soon as it's ready. So um, that should be live on our website by um, July 13th. And uh, you can also call our phone number, which is on the website. And um, you could also email us um, if you want to reserve tickets. And then you can pay for the tickets at the door um, with cash, check, or credit card. We do accept credit cards at the door as well. Um, and the email for that is tickets at SouthShoreTheaterWorks.com. And what about toddlers under six or something? Usually they pass those guys through or? Um, it depends, but yeah, I'd, I'd say so. Yeah, would, yeah, so bring your kid, your little kids, get them interested. Oh, absolutely. The more the merrier. This is a very family-friendly family friendly show. All right, so we've been interviewing Jen Sterling, and she is the social media director, the website director, and the music choreographer, we could say music director. Music director, director yeah. Music director <laughs> um, for The Little Mermaid. So thanks for being on the show. Thank you so much for having me. All right, good. Thanks. All right, I'm here with Anastasia Ferrara. Hello. And hello, and Anastasia <laughs> plays the lovely Sebastian. Yes, I do. 
And tell us a little bit about the character Sebastian. Sebastian is kind of Triton's right hand man or vizier and he is like the go-to guy if you have an errand to do something he'll be like Sebastian go do this or Sebastian go check on that and yeah and he is also halfway through no the beginning of the show he is appointed to look after Ariel and um, and who's Ariel? Tell the audience. Ariel is Caroline Colucci, and she's a great friend. So. Okay. And yeah. in the show, it, in, Ariel in the is show, the Ariel youngest. Is the youngest daughter of Triton, oh. and um, she's she gets into a lot of mischief. And Sebastian is very bad at making sure she's kind of in control. So, um, her father told Ariel that. Um, she wasn't allowed to go up to the surface, and she ended up going up there anyway and meeting Prince Eric, kind of, like, seeing him and being like, ooh, he's cool, I like this guy. Oh. And, um, and Dad, is Tri King Triton, is yeah. not very pleased when he he's, finds out. Tell us a little bit about the scene where Sebastian sort of stumbles out the wrong stuff. Okay, so Triton's like, oh, well... Sebastian, do you have any ideas where Ariel is? And, tr and Sebastian says, Oh, Saya, I tried to tell her to stay away from those humans, but she just go up there anyway, and she makes her... I forget the line. Yeah, she, <laughs> That's her, the one line And she I made her way up to the surface, Yeah. and that got Sebastian into some trouble. That got him into trouble because then he, can, um, he said, I tried to tell her that those humans are nothing but trouble. And then um, Triton says, what about humans? And um, yeah, Triton says, what about humans? And then Sebastian says, who said anything about humans? So and, he tries um, to cover up that, yeah. that bit. So he's a mischievous guy that's yeah. supposed to keep someone else out of mischief and but, doesn't do a good job. Yeah, does a really bad job at doing so. And yeah. So tell me, how do you get into character? I get, I personally get into character by if I felt like I've seen this character before somewhere, say in a movie or in a play, and I've already had like past experience knowing who this character is, I would probably have a pretty good experience of what that character is like. And I would base off of how someone else took the character and I would make it into my own character. And you so you want to put a little twist in it? Yeah, I wouldn't like say I just recently saw Wicked and that's in Boston right now. So Kristen Chenoweth um, was the original Glinda and if I was playing Glinda I would kind of take her idea of Glinda as bubbly but um, instead of just stressing some lines here and there, I would stress it differently, maybe um, move around in a different way, kind of put my own spin on the character. And that's what you'll do with Sebastian? Yes. Okay. Well, thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you And for would you like to invite the audience to come see you? Yes, it is August 4th, 5th, and 6th. And I think it's Where at is it? Stetson it's Hall. It's at Stetson Hall. Stetson Hall in and, and Friday is an evening show. Friday is an evening no, 7 show, 7.30, I think. And what about Saturday? Saturday, I think there's a matinee at 3, two, maybe? Let's call it 2. 2, two 3. Yeah. I'm, I'm not exactly sure on the right. date. So a matinee and an um, evening a show. A matinee and an evening show, and Sunday there is a matinee. And then a big party for you guys for all the hard work. Yes, there's always a cast party, and those are just real fun and I always look forward to those. All right, so Anastasia Ferrara, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. All right. I gotta know your name.
Maybe I could guess. So I'm here with Mike Quigg, and Mike plays Prince Eric, right? In The mm -hmm. Little Mermaid Junior. Yes. Right. And what is it that drew you to wanting to be the prince? Well, I mean, he's the prince. I mean, he's like a classic Disney prince. You know, he has, there's princes in Disney movies, but he kind of has great characters, a great charisma to him, and he has a, um, a great story that he's trying to find love and um, rule at the same time, and then, he um, ends up finding a girl that saves his life, and he wouldn't expect the girl to save his life. Yeah. And then he just ends up falling in love with her. Wow. So and, and he's yeah. out gallivanting on the open seas yes. at, at a time when he's discovered by Ariel. Yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And did you have to um, audition for this show? Um, it was, it's a, a weird process, but I didn't actually. I auditioned later on than everyone else. Yes. Um, because they were just they were looking for more people to be in the show. Right. So I knew people in this show. Good. Um, so it was just kind of like I knew someone who knew someone. So I'm, right. I'm glad I could be here today, though. So yeah. And this is the South Shore Theater. Yes. Right. And had you done things with other theater groups as well? Yes. I recently did shows at like Hingham Civic, Beating the Beast last fall. Oh, okay. Um, stuff at Company Theater before. Right. And so. are you going to college, high school? I'm going in the fall actually to um, a conservatory in New York City. Um, oh, wow. AMDA, the American Musical and Dramatic Academy. Okay. To study, you know, and this for the rest of my life. This. So it's sort of a calling for you then? Yes, definitely. Good. And so this will be a showcase thing. We can maybe take it. When we uh, film this, you'll probably grab a, a clip of that and send it to them, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, tell me about the storyline just a little bit. Tease the audience. Well, it opens with um, me and my crew on the open sea, and I hear, you know, I'm, I'm this carefree guy, uh, my butler, Grimsley, wants me to settle down, become king, and I'm just like, you know what, that's not for me. And then out of nowhere, I just hear this beautiful voice, which, spoiler alert, turns out to be Ariel. Yes. She gets stuck in my head. By chance, we meet, she saves my life, and, you know, kind of um, through a series of events, she likes me. I like her, we end up, um, we, you know, get to meet and then we'll see what kind of happens to our relationship in the end. So you get washed overboard at some point? Yes, there's a giant storm. Yes. And she's looking upon and she, she sees me, she thinks I'm, in the script says handsome. Yes. So she wants to save me because I'm and, a handsome person. Okay, so there you go. So you fit the role. That's what it says in the script. So. <laughs> um, she ends up saving my life, so. All right. And, um, August 4th, right? August 4th, 5th, and 6th? Yes. All right, so there's a mat, uh, an evening show. Evening on Friday. A matinee and an evening. On, this, on Saturday the 5th. And, and a matinee. matinee on Sunday the 6th. All right, and you would like to encourage the audience? Yes, please come see it. The show is going to be so good. I, I love The Little Mermaid. If you love The Little Mermaid, it's going to be even better than the movie. But <laughs> All right. So thank you, right? That's Mike Quick, all right? And he's going to play Prince Eric, and we'd love you to come down and see the show. All right, for those of you who have just joined us on the show, I'm with the Mer Sisters for the play, all right? And the Mer Sisters are Ariel's sisters, and their job is to try to warn her of all the things that are going on. And we have Julia, Allie, Sydney, Bella, Brianna, and Ashley. And what they'd like to do is they'd like to sing you a song. A song? How about a song? So they're going to sing you a song. And I'm going to hand the microphone over to you, Julia. And you can get the group started. And you're going to show how well you guys do in harmony. She's in love. She's in love. She's in love. Plain to see. No mistake. That's terrific. So let's start with you, Julia, again. Um, 
tell us how did you how did you get interested in this particular show? Well, um, I always like did like these productions. Like I did Into the Woods when I like way back like a couple months ago, and so I just like kept coming back for like different shows. Like I was like heard it was Little Mermaid at the end of Big Bad. Like we all voted on the show, so I was very excited to like do it. Oh, so very nice. And, and pass the microphone over to Allie. So Allie, sort of the same question. What got you interested in coming to South Shore Theatre Works? Well, I'd heard about South Shore Theatre Works, and I was really interested, especially because it was The Little Mermaid. It's a classic Disney movie, and I decided to audition, and now here we all are. Okay, and now you've, have you developed, would you say, new friendships as a result of coming here? Definitely, I mean, all these ladies are great friends. <laughs> Oh, that's very nice. And Sydney, how about yourself? Let's hold that mic and tell us how you became involved in the theater. Um, well, how I became involved in the theater was a long time ago. My cousins, who are all older than me, had gotten into theater when mm -hmm. they were very young. And so when they were in high school, I had done some of their shows and my sister came along with me. So. Oh, wow. And so at what age was that? When I started their shows, I was probably in second grade. Wow, and so now you're much older. Yeah. And now you're joining in and uh, harmonizing. Have you taken music lessons? Um, well, usually in school, and I play the flute, so that helps with. Kind of getting pitch. the ear to what's gonna be the right thing? Yeah. Excellent, let me steal that mic, and I'll go over to Ashley. So Ashley, we surprised Ashley. She thought she was gonna have more time to warm up. So how about yourself? How did you get first involved with South Shore Theatre Works? Um, I was actually in a show at a different company with Richard, and yeah. I liked Richard as the director so much that when he started South Shore Theatre Works, I came and I followed him. And it's kind of been, been in almost every show ever since because he's that good of a director. Yeah, he kind of really makes you feel enthusiastic about everything that you're doing. Yeah, and he's not afraid to call you out when you're doing something wrong and then like, it makes, he makes you a better performer on stage. He makes you want to do good for him. Very good. So, Brianna. Brianna, tell us what's wrong with Ariel. I just want to know. What's oh. wrong with Ariel? Well, she wants to go explore this world that she has no clue what it's like, and everyone's trying to tell her that it really, that under the sea is a lot better than whatever they have up there. And, but she's very curious and really wants to know, so she gets in a lot of trouble that way. All right, and you guys all try to sing her out of that trouble, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Pull her back and say, no, you can't be going up there. Mm -hmm. Very nice. All right, and you can switch over to Bella. And Bella, how did you get involved with South Shore Theater? I'd heard of South Shore Theater Works, and I was in a lot of other productions, and I really wanted to audition for The Little Mermaid because it's always been my favorite musical. So I decided to audition, and it's probably been the best choice I've made in a long time. So what is your favorite part of The, um, the Little Mermaid? I love all the songs. The songs are written so beautifully, and all the harmonies are awesome, and I love singing it with you all. I think we should get one more song from you guys. So let's see, what, do you, what would it be if we could do one more? Daughter, All right, well, why don't we go for it? The beginning? The, from the beginning? Mm -hmm. Six, seven. Oh, we are the daughters of Triton, great father who loves us and named us swell. Aquana, Andrina, Arista, Tina, Adela, Alana, and Ariel. Wow, that is terrific. That's a great, great harmony. You guys should be very proud of yourselves, how you pull that all together. So we'd love for you to come and see the show. It's August 4th, 5th, and 6th. 5th and 6th. 5th and 7th. All right, and so it's gonna be at two o'clock on Saturday and also 7.30 on, on Saturday night and then Sunday at two o'clock, right? So we, we have that.
So I'm here with Stephanie Blaney. Hello. Good. And Stephanie, in the play, The Little Mermaid Jr., you play Ursula. Yes. Now, Ursula doesn't sound like a mean name, but I think it is. It, she's definitely the villain of the show. Okay. If you were going to categorize her as that, she is the one that tries to take over the sea from Triton, and she tries to um, get Ariel by get it and then getting Triton. So she, do, she does try to take over everything. She tries to get the Triton, but I just feel like she's just another. Um, she's actually Triton's sister. So ah. she, I think it's like more of civil rivalry. Triton's mom always liked him better. So I see it more as that as she's just a plain vil villain. I always see villains, especially Ursula, as having layers and different depths to their character. So how will you add these layers or depths to Ursula when everybody is going to see in this um, play that you're conniving to get people in trouble? Well. What I plan to do is definitely, I feel like Ursula is one of the best villains there's ever was. She just has so much sass and she's so much fun to play. But definitely when mentioning um, her plan of taking over the sea, she's definitely seems more evil and seems more conniving. But when she is talking to maybe her brother, like Triton, or maybe to Ariel, she has different, she's just not evil all the time. She can be, kind of not sweet, but she can be a little bit more sensitive. Most of that is acting and playing into her plan, but she definitely has different layers and she's just not this evil character. All so the time. I want you to pretend that I was Ariel right mm -hmm. now and like share with me your sort of vixen side that's gonna get me to give up my mermaid's tail for legs. Okay. Um, so I'll just go improv here then. Yeah. So Ariel, darling, it's so nice to meet you. I heard your father sent you away because he doesn't understand you, but I do, Dumpling. You and I are just so very alike, gals with ambitions. Now, I heard you were looking for someone, a human, a prince, oh, quite a catch he is. Well, the answer to your solution sounds simple. You must become human yourself. Ah, so you've enticed her to, to get that the the role of her dreams right that that yeah. part of her dreams to get this f famous prince mm -hmm. that was definitely you can um early on the show when or uh ursula's trying to seduce her i guess you could say into coming up with signing the scroll and achieving her goal and getting the plan done right and she has only three days and she can't use what she can't use her voice. Ursula takes her voice and puts it in a magic shell she has, ah. which this sh shell you'll find becomes very important to her. She doesn't want to lose her magic shell. Ah. And that's what holds Ariel's voice when she does her spell. And then Ariel can't talk to Eric, so she has to show him different ways. And even in her song, she Ursula says, you have your looks, your pretty face, and body language. You can figure it out. Ah. But really, Ursula doesn't want her to figure it out, and she knows that she kind of knows that she's going to fail and she hopes that she fails. So, yeah. All right, you have two sidekicks and who are they? Flotsam and Jetsam. My... Flotsam and Jetsam. And what do they do? Uh, tell me a little bit about them. They're, um, well, Ursula straight up calls them her pets in this ah. show. So um, she goes, Flotsam, my pet, Jetsam, my darling. She loves her eels. Her eels are her little sidekick. They're her sea spies, as she calls them. So. You might see them in the background during Ariel's big number part of your world, watching her, seeing that, oh, she doesn't want to be a mermaid, she wants to be a human. And they're just kind of always in the background. Spying, yeah, yes. they're definitely spying for Ursula and then bringing information back. Because Ursula can't leave her lair. So how do you prepare for this, um, like the night of the um, show, how will you like set yourself up mentally to do a good job? Uh, mentally, um, I was always, I was never a method actor. I was always like, you're your character on stage and when you're rehearsing, that's your character. But especially since she's so evil and I feel like she's very different from who I am, I feel like I can almost take that and just pretend like I'm not myself. You, you're not yourself on yeah. stage acting. You are Ursula, you all this person. Physically wise, she does have um, a belt in the show, is, which is singing loudly with your voice. Yes. So physically wise, I'll have to rest my voice a lot leading up to the performances. Wow. Well, thank you. That's some nice insight for the audience to um, hear about. Thank so you. We wish you a lot of luck, and it sounds like they picked a really good person for this role. Oh, thank you so much. All right. Let's take it from Mama's Feeling. Okay. Mama's Feeling, woe begone. Banished to the nether regions of the 
see, no food, hardly any company. I'm simply wasting away. Okay, and then you're gonna leave. It's like, you're, you're also dwindling away. Poor oh, Ursula and Big. You know those dramatic cries you get when you pout? I don't know if you get them, Caitlin, but I know, I know Samantha does. So Richard Bento has just stepped off the floor with all of the kids, and Richard is the president and the director of this Little Mermaid show for, for South Shore Theatre Works. So Richard, thank you for taking the time. Out of a busy schedule, what you're trying to do here is amazing. How many children are in this So show? we have approximately seven, between 70 and 74 kids uh, in <sighs> some of our bigger scenes, yes. If I had like four kids, I'd have trouble keeping them all busy. <laughs> and you've got this show in it, and I think the audience has seen a lot of the uh, role that we've taken on this, that the kids are all like just focused on your every word. How do you do it? Um, I guess it's a gift, it definitely is. But I think that it comes from kids love the arts, which is great, and they don't get enough of it in school. So when they come here, in this, especially in the summer months, they really want to put on a good show and they understand that I, my job as a director is to guide them in this process and so I think there is a mutual respect. I respect them and they respect me and so we're having fun while we're accomplish, accomplishing something that's good. And, and one of your students, uh, one of the Murr sisters, Ashley said, I really like Richard because he's willing to correct me. So I thought that was kind of nice. That is very nice of her to say. Look yeah. at that. So she wants to be corrected. She wants that kind of force that you bring to the show. Well, I think that's any actor, whether it's an actor who's a child actor or an adult actor, does not know. We don't necessarily know what we're doing and what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong until someone brings it to our attention. And I believe that that is the job of a, of a director to be able to tell someone that what you're doing is great, but this is how you can improve. We can all grow. Myself, as a performer, I grow every production that I do. Um, you learn something from different actors, you learn something from, from your director, and it's important. So it makes me happy to know that Ashley, who is a student who I've worked with on many different occasions at many different projects, that she likes the feedback, because yes. that for me is the best part of my job, is giving them the feedback to make sure that they can become better performers and the skills that they're learning here, they get to use in other places. A job interview, public speaking, it has a lot to do with theater. And the fundamental skills that they're learning here at these rehearsals, they can bring into their day-to-day -to -day lives. So you said, um, that's the best part of this, of my job. But really, this is a non-paid job. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> so but, this is um, a labor of love that you do. It is, and you know, um, we wouldn't tell my, my, my boss, my real job, but this does take up a lot of, more of my time than my, my nine to five job, per se. Um, this is my passion, it's my drive. Um, and starting SSTW was something that I really wanted to do and had the right people, as we discussed the last yeah. time that I was on the show. And, um, and now continuing it, it's important to me. It just, you know, there are things that we do out of love, not a passion. And for me, theater is what that is. Um, I give my heart and soul to every production that I put on, 
And for me, that payment is knowing that a child or an adult, in many different cases, have left learning something from me because I learn from every single one of them. And I think that's what makes it exciting to have 74 kids in the cast, yeah. is that I'm gonna learn and I'm gonna take something away besides learning their names, which is a challenge for me, okay? <laughs> well, there, <laughs> there is a lot of them. Yes. Um, but I learn something from each one and I grow as a person and I grow as a director. And so that for me, there is no price tag to it. Well, your enthusiasm is contagious. I can oh, tell you that you. and I can see it with the kids. Um, let me shift gears though. Um, you've got a board. Uh, tell us their role and maybe throw some kudos their way. Just, you don't have to name them, but you can say the board's important. Well, the board is extremely important. We have uh, a board of directors, including myself, of 13 people. And we are the governing board of the South Shore Theatre Works. So we do the behind the scenes things that no one gets to see. Um, we're the ones who deal with lo logistics. We deal with the companies that we're getting the rights for, the costumes. We deal with a lot of different back of the behind the scenes, I think is the best thing to do. Yeah. And I'm very fortunate that I have people who are very dedicated to the mission of South Shore Theatre Works. Mm -hmm. um, and they work tirelessly because I, we, our season is a very large season um, and it keeps, day by day, it keeps adding more and more things because we want to not just be a theater, we want to make sure that we can give back to the community in many different ways. So we're trying to look for different avenues to do that as well. So uh, pull me back a few months. You've just finished a successful show. Tell me about that. So we, um, we actually, believe it or not, Steve, I just finished the show on Sunday. Um, Jason Robert <laughs> Brown's Song for a New World, which had 12 of the South Shore most talented, or I like to believe most talented adults, singing songs uh, from Jason Robert Brown. And it's not really a musical like we're used to seeing. There is no dialogue. There really is no plot. It's a, um, a collection of his songs that he put together. And the only thing that connects these songs is that each character, each story in that song, uh, each song, they go through a change. A moment in time, something happens that changes them from where they were going from the beginning of the song, from where the song ends. How appropriate and to the mission. It is. Okay. And it's, um, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. And that was just performed this past uh, weekend at the Laura's Center for the Arts in Hanover, Mass. Um, and then previously, last time I was here, we came and talked about Children of Eden at Stetson Hall. And that was a great success of our first spring musical. And we also had our gala, Dream It, Do It, yep. which was on June 3rd. And in the meantime, we're working on um, Little Mermaid Jr. Uh, we're working on our fall production. Cabaret. Cabaret. That's coming up. Uh, that's coming up in September. So we already had auditions for that. We actually start rehearsals for that this coming Sunday, um, which I'm very excited. I have a cast of 30 people from all over um, Rhode Island and Massachusetts, which is really, really great. And I'm very, I think the word to say it, Steve, is that I'm very, very blessed. Um, I'm blessed with people who want to come and work with South Shore Theatre Works and they know that they're coming here, we're going to have a good time, but we really, our goal is to put on quality productions. And part of that is getting a good audience. So if, for an audience for The Little Mermaid, where can they get tickets? Okay, they can um, purchase, I would definitely recommend, due to the fact that we have 75 people um, in our cast, I would recommend that they would go online to our website, www.southshoretheaterworks.com, and go under the ticket link and they can order their tickets online and they would be reserving their seat that way. Um, or they can take the risk and try to get tickets at the door. I can't promise that they will be right. receiving a ticket, and that they'll be, be able to Stetson, see the show. Is that where it's gonna be held? Correct, at Stetson okay. Hall. So they um, can seat about 200? It's uh, roughly about 250. 250? Um, yes, um, so it'll be, um, yeah, it, our goal is to sell out. Our goal is also just to have the community be part of our projects. Um, so it's important that community does, how, uh, does come out and support the arts. So we do ask them to go on the website um, and check out the tickets there. But also go on the website and we have um, a link on our website that you can join our email list so you can be up to date on everything that's going on with South Shore Theatre Works. And not just with the fall, we have some great things happening in the winter, um, early spring, or late winter, then early spring, then our big um, spring musical. So we have lots of things going on this coming year. And the only way that they can keep par of what's going on is joining our email list. Right, and Jen, had, I've had her on earlier, and Jen said there's uh, sponsorships available. Yes, there is. So Good we'd for like Jen. To, yeah, I we'd, love to hear that. Yeah, That's we'd great. like to see that 
people step up and say, hey, you know, I'd like to get on the, um, what do you call that, the uh, folder that you guys give out? Our playbill. Yeah, the mm -hmm. playbill. So they can maybe get on there by giving a contribution. And yes, sponsor. definitely. We have many different levels. Um, we have corporate sponsorship that helps put on the season itself, which is also very, very needed um, because everything does cost um, money. Just the rights alone for a production costs a lot. Um, and then we have the element of costumes and um, the rental oh, the for the rental, the, the, the hall stuff. rental, lights, microphones, things of that nature. Everything is a cost. So having sponsorship is great, and also having those program ad sponsors um, are also great. And we have them; they range from fifty dollars up to full page ads that are three hundred dollars. All right. And uh, Jen also asked me to ask you. I think if people bring their real little ones, mm -hmm. um, will they have to pay full price, or is that something that we give them a little break? So any children under the age of five. Um, well, as long as we know, we'll, we'll not have to pay. Yeah. Um, especially if they're going to be sitting on their on their parents' lap. Yeah. Um, there's no need for, to pay for that. Yeah. Um, we do understand that we want us to be a family theater company. Yeah. So we want to be able to be affordable for the, com for Bring the community. Them up. And we yes, <laughs> and then who knows, next summer I'll have 150. Who knows? Wonderful. Who knows? All right. Is there anything else you wanted to touch on before we do our final um, outtake? Um, no, I'm um, very grateful for the opportunity to be on the show again, and especially um, to be able to feature some of our youth and, and their, their stars, their rising stars is what they are, and they're all so very talented. And so to have the opportunity to work with them is a blessing, but also having the opportunity to see them shine and doing some on-screen interviews, which is something that they need to learn as well as they grow um, as performers is a great experience. So thank you very much for, to all of you for giving us this, this opportunity. And we, and we want to thank you too because I, I really feel the enthusiasm, I feel the desire that you have to make these children like better at everything they're doing and give them like that's productive stuff and I really like that you're doing that. So, well, thank you. So congratulations on that. So uh, to the audience, I'd like to say August 4th, that's a Friday night show. August 5th is a matinee and a Saturday night show. And then August 6th is a matinee show. So please go online, grab some tickets, support this wonderful group and Richard as well. Uh, there'll be lots of singing as you heard and uh, it's just a wonderful time. So I'll be signing off. My name is Steve Kelly. This has been a production of Community Forum, Stoughton Media Access Cable, as we present to you the um, South Shore Theater Works, Little Mermaid Junior. What a wonderful show. Please come take a look.